and welcome to a film that we've made to welcome you to Boarding at Loughborough Grammar School. My name is Helen Foster and I'm the Deputy Head at the Grammar School. I'm also Head of Boarding here and I head up a team of fantastically dedicated boarding staff. We've made this film specially so that you can see what we have on offer here and meet the people who will be looking after you. We've had boarders at Loughborough Grammar School for many years and these people are extremely experienced. At this time we've made some very special arrangements to make sure that you are safe and that all of the facilities here are ready and open for you and that you will not be mixing with anybody else as you arrive here in preparation to start in September. To get all of the guidelines I daily look at what the authorities are telling us what to do. I'm also acting with the Covid Charter which is issued by the BSA, the Boarding School Association. So the information I give to you today is as current as it possibly can be, but I'll write to you with up-to-date information as things change. The key thing is to get here into the UK, into the airport on 15th, 16th or 17th of August, just like you've been asked to do by Dawn Bryars, the Head of Admissions here. We will send some transport from school to collect you. So these will be staff from school who will know who you are, collect you and bring you safely back up to Loughborough Grammar School, help you unpack and get into the boarding houses. In the boarding houses, we've been preparing for your arrival by cleaning everything extremely thoroughly and putting into place new places of sanitisation. And we've also been training all of the cleaners in extra cleaning, such as door handles and the light switches in the communal areas. Your sons will also be taught about how to look after themselves in terms of keeping clean when they arrive too. We've also been looking at the sleeping arrangements and we've been changing catering arrangements so that the catering staff can socially distance from your sons and that the boys will be eating their meals safely in our lovely airy space with good food but at the required social distance. Boys will be kept on the campus all of the time that they're in quarantine with the staff that you're going to see in a few minutes on this video. We're very lucky at Loughborough Grammar School. We have great big green open spaces where the boys can stretch their legs, play sport and enjoy the fresh air. Remembering that they will not be mixing with anybody else, just boys from our own community, which is just as the COVID charter says, we need to keep them as a household. In addition, we have excellent medical staff available and we're lucky enough to have a bespoke medical centre for our own use. I have a doctor and a school nurse at hand ready to help you with any queries and you'll see them again in the video in a few minutes. Social distancing is something that we're all very used to here and some of us are used to wearing masks as well. We encourage your sons to bring masks because we know that's something that is really very important in your cultures as well. The other thing is that we're very used to having a multicultural environment here. Your sons and you do not need to be worried at all. We're extremely welcoming and forgiving of all of the wonderful differences that are between us. In fact, we celebrate differences at Loughborough Grammar School. So I hope you find the next few clips really reassuring. We've got the safety procedures in place. We're learning every single day like you are. I'll update you, but I'd like you to sit back and enjoy meeting the people who are going to make this a very special experience for you and your sons. Welcome to our fabulous, thriving and diverse boarding community, which is situated at the heart of school life. Boarding at LGS, whether that be in Denton or Schoolhouse, provides a home away from home experience where you'll feel safe, comfortable and part of the family. I believe that each and every one of you will take on the opportunities available and make new friends, experience new cultures and reach your personal and academic potential. Hello, my name is Diane Coward and I'm one of the school nurses here at Loughborough Grammar School and I'm also the lead nurse for Loughborough School Foundation. Loughborough Grammar School has a medical centre which is based in the schoolhouse boarding house. That medical centre comprises of the nurses room and four separate private rooms that can be used by our boys if they are poorly during the day and need a day off school. The nurses are available every day term time and our working hours are from eight o'clock in the morning 
till 5.30 in the evening, which means that we are here during the school day, but also before and after school for our boarders if needed. If your son were to wake up feeling unwell one day, he would speak to his boarding master and they would ask you to come and see us. We have the ability to assess and treat minor injuries and minor illness. We do have some over-the-counter medicines that we can give to our boarders and we also have the ability to treat minor injuries within our department. Locally in Loughborough there is a walk-in centre where we can take our boys if they have a more significant injury um, and also in the city of Leicester which is just a few miles away there is a major AE department if that were to be required. When our boys join us here at Loughborough Grammar School we register them with our school doctor, Dr Sarah Eveson who is a local GP. This entitles all of our boarders to free NHS treatment while they're here with us. Uh, the doctor will come and do a weekly clinic and she will explain more about that. Um, the nurse is also available um, outside of our working hours for advice in the evenings and overnight and the weekend if need be. Our borders are a really large part of our multinational community here at Loughborough Grammar School and they very quickly settle in and become good friends with the other borders and also the day boys here at the school. Just a quick note on COVID-19, obviously this visa has been a very horrible situation across the world. Loughborough Grammar School has taken the situation very seriously and we have implemented enhanced cleaning procedures. Also, we have a strong culture of hand washing and social distancing. We're really looking forward to seeing your boys in August when they come and join us and I look forward to seeing them then. Hello, my name is Dr Eveson and I support the medical school here at LGS as the school doctor. I work at a local doctor's surgery close to the school called Bridge Street Medical Practice and each border is registered with myself at this NHS practice. We are a practice of three female and three male doctors and I'm the senior partner there and I've been there 20 years and I've been supporting the school here for the last 11 years. I can deal with all common medical problems and have access to the hospitals for emergency and specialist care where we need it and we can also refer to spot private specialists if this is preferred. During the first few weeks when the boarders arrive I will meet every boarder for a school medical and during this time we can find out if ongoing medical problems are stable or if there are any new problems or allergies that have changed that we may need to be made aware of. I can prescribe medications and we also offer each border an influenza vaccine annually and any other immunisations that they may be due during their time with us here. I come to the school weekly to do a clinic and matron can contact me at all other times for advice and to arrange for boys to come to the local surgery on an appointment for which they would be accompanied. They can see a male doctor if they also prefer. During the pandemic, we have been following strict public health guidance. All consultations commence by a telephone or video and if we need to see patients we are seeing them in full PPE with a thorough deep cleaning of the room between each patient. I do hope your boys will remain well during their time with us here at LGS but please be assured that should they become unwell that they will be very well looked after medically and I really look forward to meeting you all very soon. Hello, my name is Dawn Bryars, and as Head of Board of Admissions, I've been involved in the application process of your son from start to finish. It is quite natural that you will have many questions that you want to ask, but I hope that our information booklet and joining forms will have provided you with some of the answers. However, if not, please do not hesitate to contact me and I will do all I can to help you. I am sure that you will now be wondering about the Tier 4 application process. Please rest assured that our legal team will be contacting you very soon to start the application process and to guide you through that. So please don't worry about that. With regard to the start of the autumn term, um, you will have heard, you, you will have received a letter from the headmaster outlining our plans um, for that particular period. Uh, we do have Plan for Your Son, an induction programme, which will be held on Thursday the 3rd of September. 
and that day will um, provide an opportunity for you if you're able to accompany your son and your sons to meet the key people who will be looking after him during his time here at Loughborough. Um, the, the induction day will also offer the opportunity uh, for your son to uh, resolve any Wi-Fi issues he may have, um, details about opening bank accounts and all sorts of general administration uh, procedures that need to be put in place. I will now hand you over to the people who will be looking after your son on a day-to-day -day basis and um, they are our wonderful boarding house staff. Good morning, my name is Jeremy Parton, I'm one of the two housemasters here. Welcome to Loughborough Grammar School. And here we are right in the heart of the school campus on the Burton Walks. If we look behind me at the far end of the Burton Walks we can see the girls school, the high school and our music department. As we pan around here, we're right in the heart of the campus, we see our school reception building, that's called Buckland. Behind there we have our science and maths park, we'll be seeing that later on. And here we have Denton House, one of the two boarding houses here at Loughborough Grammar School and I am the housemaster of Denton House, housing up to 34 boys. As we keep panning round, we see other buildings in the distance where the boys eat their meals. At the far end of the walks, we have our sports hall, always available to our boarders. And as we pan around here, we see the most historic, well-known part of the school campus, our beautiful quad. And in the far corner of the quad, we have the other boarding house, schoolhouse, also housing up to approximately 36 boarders. Welcome to Schoolhouse. This is the oldest and the biggest of the boarding houses at the grammar school and we're the Marlowe family. Mr Marlowe and myself will be looking after you while you're at Schoolhouse along with our assistant housemaster Mr Carosi. Weekends in boarding combine relaxation with fun. The morning starts with a leisurely brunch and then boys have free time where they're able to visit town to do some shopping or meet friends or perhaps catch up with the latest movie in the cinema. Or they could play in one of the sports teams here at the grammar school or perhaps catch up on some study. There are several trips that take place during weekends over the year which boys are encouraged to go on including visiting the Birmingham markets at Christmas or visiting a premiership football match. So there's plenty going on in the boarding house at the weekend. Hello, I'm Mrs Slater, the EAL coordinator. EAL classes are small and give you the opportunity to improve your English and help you reach your full potential in all of your subjects. Older students take classes to prepare for the IELTS exam and practice the English reading, speaking and listening skills to prepare them for the IELTS exam for university and beyond. At the moment we're working a lot via Teams, which the boys are enjoying and finding beneficial. Academic study is really important at Loughborough Grammar School and you will be taught by specialist teachers in modern, well-equipped classrooms such as this one here. This is a biology lab. Every half term, you will receive achievement and effort grades recording your progress in all of your academic subjects. They will be reported to all parents via a link on the school website. In addition, the housemasters such as myself and the boys' form tutors monitor their academic progress and will report any concerns to the parents. There are regular parents' evenings However, we understand that for overseas parents, it may be difficult for you to attend. If that is the case, then overseas parents receive a full written report instead of the parents' evening. At Loughborough Grammar School, we have prep times most days, apart from Fridays and Saturdays. This prep time is supervised by a duty member of staff. During prep, the boarders are allowed to use their own devices apart from their mobile phones. And in an evening, these devices are stored away securely in a cabinet so that the boys get a good night rest. Also during the day, they're not allowed to use their mobile phones outside of lessons. Where's 
standing in the kitchen of Denton House. At local grammar school, no boarder is ever hungry. There are three cooked meals provided every day in the Burton Hall, breakfast, lunch and evening meal. But as well, the boarders have plenty of chance to cook for themselves and prepare the food they like as snacks in Denton House. So yes, here we are in the Denton Boarders Kitchen. During the boys' free time and mainly in the evenings, the boys come here to prepare snacks and meals for themselves using their own food. We provide uh, induction cookers here for them, plenty of food preparation services. They also have access to a dishwasher, to all the utensils they need and to fridges to store food. The boys prepare meals such as Chinese hot pot occasionally or just snacks and enjoy a great social time together. The boys also take a food hygiene certificate so they can prepare their food safely. Each boy has a tuck cupboard. This is a cupboard where they can keep their food and snacks, anything they want to cook for themselves or just enjoy in the evening. Of course there are lots of packets of noodles. Victor, how did you find the first few days in the boarding house as a new boarder? Well, um, the first few days was a bit confusing with all the stairs and corridors intersecting with me. Um, but if you ask the older boys, they'll show you around and there's no problem with it, really. If you have any issues, what do you do and how are they resolved? Um, well, you should talk to a person that you have issues with. Um, that usually turns out pretty good. And if that doesn't work, talk to a teacher and the teacher will sort it out. Finally, what do you enjoy about being a boarder at the ground school? Well, being a boarder, um, you get a lot of free time. So you can read, you can play games, you can do anything you want. Hi, I'm Mr. Carosi and a languages teacher here at Loughborough Grammar School. I'm also the assistant housemaster in Schoolhouse and live on site. As a languages teacher, I've lived abroad and know how daunting an experience that can be. But it's also one of the best experiences of your life. It offers many new opportunities, such as sport. And sport here at LGS is available every day. To the boarders, we take them down to the sports hall, where I am now, four times a week in order to play football, basketball, table tennis, squash, or just to use the gym. Sport is a universal language, and it's a great opportunity to make new friends within the boarding community. We also have a boarders football team and play fixtures against like-minded boarding schools several times during the year. I'm Richard West, and I'm Director of Music here. When you come to Loughborough Grammar School, all your music lessons will take place in this amazing building. Music is at the heart of Loughborough Grammar School and at the heart of the music department is this 120 seater recital hall. Here lots of our award winning ensembles meet and rehearse and there are also weekly lunchtime concerts and occasional masterclasses, lectures and workshops. If you take instrumental lessons, you can learn here with one of our team of over 30 instrumental and vocal specialists. The facilities here are first rate. Pianists learn on Steinway built pianos and all our practice rooms are purpose built. You can practice during the evenings and at weekends to help you become the best musician you can be. So this is the end of our video. We've hoped you've enjoyed meeting everybody. We're really excited about seeing you in August. What I'd like you to do is keep looking on the website to the updates that we've got there and I'll write to you with any big information and otherwise see you at the airport in August. Bye bye.